in the earlier 19th century, the neighborhood and the workers tended to be Irish. Mm -hmm. um, there were Polish uh, mixed in, maybe later in the 19th century. Uh, it became predominantly Italian, uh, late 19th, early 20th century, and that kind of continued through. Um, African Americans began moving, I believe, from the South, here attracted by the jobs. It may have been just in the 50s. Uh, and I'm told by uh, the people that grew up in the neighborhood, there was, there was no racial conflict. It did, you know, people that worked here, lived here, it was just like everyone was equal and mm. got along well. I used to say, uh, when I was giving tours, that Connecticut used to be um, the China of the world, because we used to produce so many things. We had produced you know, pound for pound for a small state, much more than other states in the Union. Uh, but then after learning more about the clock industry and how high tech it was and how many you know, generations of innovation had to take place for them to stay on top, I realized that we were really the Silicon Valley and China together.